This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. The divide and measure tools have been in AutoCAD for a long time now. That might be evident by their names once you hear what they do. They don't divide up lines or arcs, and they don't measure it telling you the distances. Instead, these are old drafting terms to use a divider to lay out segments or to lay out evenly spaced objects. The divide and measure tools in AutoCAD work very similarly to each other. They can be found here. The divide, which creates evenly spaced point objects, or blocks if you want to use them, along the length or perimeter of an object. And the measure command creates point objects or blocks again at measured intervals along the length or perimeter of an object. Both of these commands are rather simple to use, but they can be very powerful and big time savers. They'll help you calculate spacing along a line and prevent you from having to do the math yourself, thus reducing the amount of time taken on your part and it reduces the error that you won't make. If you need to design something that fits a certain length, for example, like this line here, and let's say you want five equal spaces, in that case you would use the divide command. You can also type in the word divide on the command line. Select the object to divide, and then enter in the number of segments. We wanted five. Press enter. The command inserted these number of blocks, four blocks, or in this case, points, to give you one, two, three, four, five even spaces. And now I can draw lines that come out from there. And they're each evenly spaced. You never measured the line. You never had to calculate a thing. AutoCAD did all of the work for you. Just remember to use these points as your reference and just draw away. Now, maybe you know the distance of your spacing, but you don't know how many spaces it will take on this line. In that case, use the measure command. Measure. Select the object to measure, and now enter the length of each segment. Let's say nine units. It doesn't divide everything up evenly, as you can see on the end here, there's a little bit left over. But now you can have a line drawn every nine units long. I know what you're thinking. You could use the array command to make a row of just nine units long. Well, you can't use the array command necessarily as easily in the case of following a polyline or to follow an arc. But both of these commands can do that. If I pick the divide again, select my object, enter the number of segments, let's say three, press enter. Now I have one, two, three evenly spaced arcs along my big arc right here. You can draw a line to the center point, and I have an evenly spaced pie piece. I can also use the measure command on the arc as well. Let's use the measure command on this polyline. How long do I need my segments to be? Let's say every 4.5 units. There you go. Both of the commands will work along lines, arcs, polylines, or splines. You can use them to very quickly divide them up into equal spaces based on the number of spaces or based on the width or length of those spaces.